different. Um, and in this case, we have uh, the customer ID uh, being set up as what's known as an identity column. Um, so uh, when we're doing uh, when we're setting up the the table uh, in the create table statement, instead of customer ID uh, being out there on its own, uh, now we're going to say that it's an integer, and it, we're going to use the keywords generated always as identity. Uh, that's going to make this an identity column. This is this was introduced in uh, the 2000. I think it was the 2003. Uh, SQL standard. Um, so uh, after after that, we open up paren and we go through and we give it parameters. So uh, what number does it start with? Uh, so uh, like a Microsoft Access uh, auto number, this is going to start with one. It's going to increment by one. Uh, the minimum value is the number one. Uh, the maximum value is ten thousand. Uh, rare uh, in a lot of cases to set the max value. Usually the max value just goes on and on and on and on and on. Um, and we set no cycle and what no cycle means is that you can't go back and reuse numbers if they've ever been used before. Um, so that's how you set up an identity column. The nice part about an identity column uh, is when you're using the insert statement uh, and we'll talk about insert statements uh, in another video uh, when you're setting up the insert statement, you don't have to explicitly uh, put a value um, into the customer ID because uh, the customer ID value is going to be generated always as an identity. So it will always be a system maintained value. And uh, that is the end of the video on identity columns.